long chicken breast, please? Um, nine grain wheat bread. Uh, yes, please. So I got lettuce, sweet corn, and onion in my serve as well. Okay, it's like falling apart. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Just wave. Oh my. Good morning, guys. I do it every single time. I go, it's like, it's like good morning, guys. 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 I also put my vlogs up never in the morning, so it doesn't make sense. Good morning, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's actually basically one o'clock now. Um, we're on our way to Birmingham. We're going on a little Birmingham. road trip to uh, the Gymshark headquarters. Peg? headquarters um, I'm having like a meeting thing with them so we thought we'd make a little road trip out of it because it's like two and a half hours drive is it Around about? just over two okay just about two hours drive so probably uh do some shopping get some food all that shizzle after the meeting it's gonna be like a full day of eating kind of on the go because I'm just gonna be out of the house all day we just grabbed a subway and I got my coffee, I got a sugar-free, no, a skinny vanilla latte. Okay, sugar-free shot. Sugar-free shot vanilla. He knows me so well. Yeah, my lips are still really super sore, so if they still look like I've lip-lined them all wrong, it's she basically has. a sore, a sore line of lip-liner. I bought a Carmex um, lip gel thingy and not quite doing it for me it kind of just stings and doesn't really work I don't feel it does but you know <laughs> bless you <laughs> bless you <laughs> bless you <laughs> bless you I also have on I will just do my quick outfit check because I always do these um, I have on one of my fave jumpers just ever ever in the whole wide world I mean, I only got it a few days ago, but I've worn it every day since I've had it, and it's my Primark, the softest um, material ever. I bought it in an extra large, and, um, oh, there we go, there's a better, better footage of the colour. It's like a velvety navy blue, and genuinely just the comfiest, gorgeous thing. Oh, this was one of the jumpers from my Primark haul, which went up one video before this vlog, I believe. If you haven't watched that yet, go and check it out. Oh, I'm also wearing the jeans from Primark haul. These are genuinely my new fave jeans as well. Um, I mean, they are just ridiculous booty jeans and no jeans ever fit me apart from Topshop jeans. These bad boys, 13 pounds and they fit me so good. Like they're size eight and they fitted my legs and bum like perfectly. So just no more words, just all hail the Primark jeans. So I'm wearing my Primark outfit from my Primark haul. So if you haven't gone and watched that yet, make sure you go and watch it. And now we'll get so on. there's the Gymshark headquarters. Bye Gymshark! Look, you can see the little Gymshark sign. And they also have one over here. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Yeah, I think so. So they've got one on either either end. Um we just finished up the meeting. Um oh it's blurry. Yeah, we just finished the meeting, which was really good and really motivating and a feel-good meeting so that was really really lovely and now we're gonna head off into the town center do a little bit of, of snooping around i have heard on the grapevine that there's a forever 21 yeah, in birmingham yeah i know <laughs> <laughs> literally the only place that i know that has a forever 21 is london and birmingham so whenever we go to those two places i always go to forever 21 because it is one of my favorite shops um just because I feel like I seem to like shops that just sell so much stuff because I'm a, I love Primark and I love Forever 21 and they're both just shops that are like jumble sales and so many people hate them because you have to like rummage through clothes and find things and I just love that it's just the shopping experience I love which just is not the shopping experience most people want I hate it he hates it absolutely hates it he'll probably it. wait outside such a pain <laughs> everywhere and you can't find everything and I know. so crowded so yeah that's what we're gonna do now and then we're probably gonna grab some food later i'm still pretty full from my uh subway yeah, yeah that's true <laughs> yeah, you know what i'm like <laughs> shopping mall lighting is the worst so we come to the bowl ring my focus is not great right now because the lighting's crap in here 
We've come to the bull ring and we're going to do some shopping. James is just doing some boring business stuff while I rest on him before we go. And sha ha ha! Yay! I just realised they have Christmas decorations up. Is it Christmas? Or is that just all event? What, those bull balls? Yeah. That's definitely Christmas decorations. That's ridiculous. Oh, just guys. I absolutely love it though. Legit, my house is gonna look like this. <laughs> it really is. Hey. Literally like shoe heaven. Oh my god. <laughs> Legit. What even is that? <laughs> One of those, that is just, that is, I just, speechless, speechless. Who needs a dog when you can wear these and just go, good boy? Good boy! <laughs> good He's boy. a good boy! Who thinks I should buy the puffiest, comfiest coat I've ever found? Puffy, puffy, puffy. It's, it's genuinely, again, like wearing a duvet. I'm into the duvet feels. I like the colour. How cute. <laughs> yay, yay, yay for pizza, yay, yay, I love pizza. So we got Caesar salad to start, our starter. I love how they put egg in it. I did not know an egg was in the Caesar salad. They put quite a lot of Caesar salad, not all. Really? I don't think it's like necessary no. for Caesar salad, but. And it's got that little food fish food in it, egg. which I'm gonna take out. It's, I don't know why I'll, I really don't like that little fish. Get out. Oh my God, that was so close. I got Apollo Adaptra, chicken, onion, something, something, and something. James got something, something, pepperoni, and something. <laughs> oh, I thought we did a photo. Let's get my cup <laughs> Finished our pizza, and scarily, we weren't that full. It's like eating a salad. It was quite light, it was quite thin, kind of just felt like. again? Kind of just felt like. Eating a little bag of crisps, you know? So that's worrying. But to be fair, I only had one other kind of Subway sandwich. So I've had a carb day, even though it was meant to be slightly lower carb today because of the no gym situation. But last time I checked, which was like an hour ago, we had done our 10,000 steps. Um, so we got a lot of steps in today, which is always good. Shopping is always the best way to get steps in. Um, and now we are gonna head home in a bit. We're just gonna get go to Costa, get uh, coffee for the road home. I might get hot chocolate, but that might be pushing it a bit. But you know what I'm like, if I fancy something, I pretty much always get it. What are you doing? Oh, frozen yogurt. What are they? Frozen yogurt. They're cute. Are you seriously looking at the cakes? Yeah, I just, I quite fancy like a mocha truffle, just like a tiny. Oh, that looks good. That looks way too rich for me though. Where's the thing I always get? I haven't got it today. <gasps> that looks so nice. Oh yeah. Medium white americano to go. Yeah. And a. Um. Should I get a hot chocolate? A mocha. Uh, yeah. I'll get a small hot chocolate, please. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> no thanks. Oh. Mocha truffle. Cheeky. Oh, so do you want to see the big treat I've got? He got something big. Big boy treat out of that massive bag. <laughs> What's the point in putting in a bag? <laughs> it's, not, it's not exactly a service, just go. I'm sorry, I just realised that cost you £1.20. <laughs> I'm not being funny, but you could get a pack. James, I don't know, there's, oh. That's so good. I'm quite annoyed. Try there's literally a Tesco Extra over there. You probably get five for a pound in there or something. No, I don't like rich chocolate. I'm on my chocolate strike, babe. But hot chocolates don't count, do you remember that? So, I ended up getting a hot chocolate. Um, I'm on my chocolate strike. I didn't fancy any chocolate. 
but I got hot chocolate because because <laughs> you didn't fancy chocolate. Because I kind of fancy there's no good lighting here. Because I kind of fancied a bit of a sweet thing after my meal, but not chocolate. Especially not the kind of chocolate James had. This camera is amazing. Yeah. Was it? So I'm gonna have a hot chocolate with cream and marshmallows. <laughs> This hot chocolate is literally the best thing in the world. Slightly better than my options, 40 calorie hot chocolate. Only slightly, only slightly. And they do have clotted cream on top. It's not even just normal whipped cream, cream it's actually clotted cream with giant marshmallows in it. But yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like squirted clotted cream. <laughs> with giant marshmallows. So yeah, food-wise, we kind of had basically, well to be fair, it's only like half past, eight pound fifty for parking. Okay, no problem, not a problem. I know, so yeah, there's some noisy music in here right now, so you're probably not going to be able to hear me. It's like a car wash in the middle of the car park, and it's like, a, basically a disco. It's quite cool. Um, ow, I'm dropping my hot chocolate. Hi. So yeah, food-wise, I basically only had two meals, but it is only 7.30, so I could potentially be hungry by the time we get home. Probably will be, but we'll, I might just quickly add up my macros. The good thing about eating out is that if you do want to track your macros, most things are like completely just on the internet. You just type in um, Pizza Express, um, nutrition and you get the exact kind of macros for your pizza uh, which is quite good in a sense James left his uh, coffee on top of the paying machine when he paid for parking he put his coffee on top and so now he's gone to get his coffee I hope it's still there but literally James does this all the time he leaves his coffee on top of he leaves stuff on top of cars on top of anything and then doesn't ever pick them up okay guys so it's the next day now, I have no idea what happened last night. Me and James got home from um, Birmingham and uh, we worked until 2 a.m. on the uh, website that's coming. Sorry, I'm really excited because it's going live in like two seconds. Um, just the new website for the UFBG girls. And um, we have a community which is for the UFBG girls, but they can access everything online and the online website we've just had like a new sexy amazing website created and I'm so excited because it's just so cool like you click done when you've like finished all your workouts it's kind of like it's like an app inside a website and um, I got to write like a personalized message for every day that they can open and anyway it was just really like exciting we were up till 2am preparing for it today. I completely zonked out and um, I didn't get time to film the outro. So I always like to come back on when possible just to say goodbye and thank you for watching the vlog. I pretty much didn't eat anything else that day. I had such a random day of food, but like I said, it was a day out. I ate basically nothing at home. Well, I did eat nothing at home that day. Now the macros without the hot chocolate were kind of spot on, but the calories were a bit low. Um, and with the hot chocolate, they were towards the higher end of the macros, more like a maintenance macro than a fat loss macro, which is absolutely great for a day out of eating. Like, that is not gonna throw me off track. Really enjoyed myself, I didn't have to think about kind of, oh, I can't have that because I'm trying to stay on track. It was just such a lovely day. I ate whatever I wanted, um, and I ate when I was hungry. I didn't eat three meals, but I didn't need three meals. I ate what I wanted and when I was hungry. I kind of wanted to film uh, a vlog that day to just show that a whole day away from home is not something to panic about. I'm gonna sit down because my legs are aching. It can seem scary if you're kind of like watching what you eat or something like that, but it does not have to be that way. Don't let any sort of diet, any sort of form of nutrition or anything um, kind of put you off having days out and enjoying yourself. Another thing to mention is the workout side of things yesterday. So I was meant to be going to the gym yesterday. If I follow, was I was following my plan, um, the UFBG plan, um, each day to a T. And it wasn't one of my cardio days, like walk slash cardio days yesterday. It was meant to be a workout day. Um, 
Now, the thing about UFBG is you, and I think with anything, you should be able to work it around your life. Enjoy life and enjoy the present, what you are doing currently. I've just gone off on one now, but anyway, my point of that ramble is don't let food affect your days off and don't panic if you have a day off from the gym. It's completely fine. Crack back on with it tomorrow and just the, pre the past is the past. Focus on the present and you're going to be fine. Okay? Rant over. Life is good. Be happy. Smile. Be grateful. We're nearly on 100k, which is so exciting. Not that I really care about the number, but it's an exciting little milestone for all of us on this channel. So, well, me and you guys. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for all your support with all the content that I put out. I cannot thank you enough for that. I hope you enjoyed the vlog and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. I love you so much. Mwah. Bye.